What If, What Now is an Avartis Oncology initiative to explore the present state and the possible futures of CML. Chronic myeloid leukemia, known as CML, is a rare disease with one to two cases diagnosed per 100,000 people per year. Though the number of people diagnosed each year stays relatively constant, more people are now living with the disease thanks to drugs that directly target its cause. CML has changed beyond recognition over the past 50 years. Once a fatal cancer, today it has become a chronic condition, with patients able to expect a normal lifespan. The discovery of the Philadelphia chromosome in the 1960s was the breakthrough that would change the future of CML. Researchers discovered that CML patients have a missing section of DNA in chromosome 22. It was the first direct link between chromosomal abnormalities and cancer. Researchers soon learnt that the missing DNA was in fact a swap of genetic material between chromosomes 22 and 9, a phenomenon known as translocation. Unfortunately, even with this monumental discovery, patients were still without an effective therapy. Bone marrow transplantation was introduced, but not all patients were eligible. In the 1980s, researchers identified CML's primary cause. Two genes, called BCR and ABL, were linked by the chromosome swap. Together, these genes produce an abnormal enzyme called bcr abel tyrosine kinase, which changes the normal genetic instructions of a cell, setting off a cascade of signals producing cancerous cells. Researchers focused on a new class of drugs, called tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs. Whereas traditional chemotherapy aims to kill cancer cells directly, TKIs block the mutated BCR and ABL genes. This spares normal, healthy blood cells. The widespread introduction of TKIs in the 2000s transformed treatment for CML patients. There was a need for even more sensitive tests to detect residual levels of cells with the BCR ABL genes. A blood test called polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, was introduced that is so sensitive it can detect a single abnormal cell out of one million normal white blood cells. For the first time, major molecular response was now a very real possibility for CML patients. Today, scientists are developing ever more sensitive tests and new treatment strategies for the disease. The goal is to improve outcomes for all CML patients and allow as many patients as possible to reach complete molecular response, the next step on the path to achieving undetectable levels of disease and opening up the possibility of living in treatment-free remission. Today, CML is seen as the archetype for targeted therapies and its treatment success offers hope and inspiration for many other conditions.